the formula of the Green's theorem is here, where the single line integration equals to the double surface integration. This is the formula of the Green's theorem. On the left side, this C stands for the core, for the boundary of an object, for the outermost line of an object. At the right side, R stands for the region under that curve, or surface under that curve. It's the region under the curve, or the surface under the curve. According to Green's theorem, this left side always equal to the right side. Let me compare the left side with the right side. Let me compare the left side with the right side, where function 1 f sub 1 is with the x. At the right side, f sub 1 has been taken partially with respect to y. Similarly, f sub 2 at the left side is with respect to y. But at the right side, f2 has been taken partially with respect to x. If I have dx and dy at the left side, you must put dx and dy at the right side. In case if I have sub 1 with the dz, you must put dz to the right side as well. So look here, f sub 1 is with respect to z, but at the right side f sub 2 is with respect to z. Similarly, f2 is with respect to y, but at the right side f1 is with respect to y. Again, if I take f sub 2 with the z, you have to put dz to the right side as well. Now look here, f sub 1 is with respect to x, but at the right side f2 is with respect to x. f2 is with respect to z here, but at the right side f1 is with respect to z. If you take the object in xy plane, then the line integral has dx and dy, where the right side also has dx and dy. So function f sub 1, f sub 2 has been taken with respect to x and y. We have to put dx and dy to the right side as well. But if the object is in x and z plane, then the line integral has dx and dz, where the surface integral also has dx and dz. Look at here, function 1 and function 2 have been taken with respect to x and z. I have to take dx and dz to the right side as well. But in case, if the object is in y and z plane, then the line integral has dy and dz, where the right side also has dy and dz. Look here, the function f sub 1 and f sub 2 have been taken with respect to y and z variables. So I have dy and dz to the right side as well. 